Hi, everyone. I am the Chief of Research for our Enterprise Applications team and a VP in our group covering applications. What does that mean? Well, those are the big apps that you buy, CRM, ERP, Digital Workplace, the productivity apps. It's really those three pillars that make up how we look at the applications world. I'm going to talk a little bit about where we see the future going in this space. And this is a big lead up to an event that we have in London in September that's going to cover a lot of these topics in much more detail. We call this the future of enterprise applications. And the four pillars that the future stands on are an adaptive experience, an autonomous orchestration, embedded intelligence, and a composable architecture. And I'm going to talk about what each of those mean. But ultimately, the big theme here and what we're hearing from clients is that you need ways of extending these big purchases that you've already made. You don't want to have to rip and replace a big ERP or a CRM. What you want to do is be able to layer things on top of it to get more value, to modernize bits and pieces of it that have the most value. And that's really what we root our research in here. It's not about going out and buying the next, next greatest tool. It's about getting more leverage out of what you have today through automation, through a better experience, and through a better underlying architecture. So the first thing I want to cover is the adaptive experience. Now, what do we mean by adaptive experience? You know, this is something that we've been looking at for years, right? All of us go to different vendor events and every year they've got a new UI. They've got a better user experience. They've reinvented their approach to how people are going to use the tool and get value. But as an industry, we just haven't really cracked the code on a great user experience. When we talk about applications like CRM or ERP, they haven't inherited this great user experience that we see on the consumer side a lot of times. There's still a lot of clicks. It's really hard to do your job. And you're going from screen to screen to different application on a swivel chair between them. And so the user experience for enterprise applications just hasn't caught up to the end user world. So when we talk about an adaptive experience, we mean things like, what if the user experience you know today completely goes away? What if it becomes a prompt-based experience, for example? For those of you that have played with ChatGPT or Generative AI, what if you could ask your application a question or let it know what you're looking for versus navigate through 10, 20 screens to get there? So what if our future user experience is prompt-based? A completely different paradigm. We've talked about personalization for years, but what if it's actually role-based? What if the person that's maybe doing a job in the field sees a very different user interface to the one that's doing research and digging into the numbers. But that happens automatically based on personas that are defined, not on lengthy configuration and design sessions. A system that learns how to really interact with you the way that you want to work. Because maybe that person doing research finds himself another day in the field. So it adapts to your environment and your needs. That's really what we're talking about when we get to an adaptive experience. We've got a lot of great research, really cutting edge stuff that's looking at that. The second major pillar that we talk about with intelligent applications and the future of applications is what we call autonomous orchestration. Now, what we really mean by that is traditional automation tools augmented by AI capabilities. Let me explain that. So in the past, you might have used RPA solutions, robotic process automation, here and there to close some gaps, put some band-aids on some broken processes to automate things with bots in individual places, and maybe even went as far as to have a center of excellence for RPA to pull it all together. You might have used integration or iPaaS solutions to help with better, cleaner integration. You may have more recently started using low-code or no-code development tools to extend and automate different pieces of the puzzle. Maybe you even have a BPA platform. You're doing business process automation and some level of process mining to try and find where the bottlenecks are. You might have one or many of all of these different automation tools. But the challenge, but also the opportunity in the future, is how do you pull all of these things together to really provide a winning future-proof automation solution? All of the different vendors offer pieces of these puzzles, but how do you find the right combination of these vendors to navigate this big, complex, diverse ecosystem of solutions. That's one big topic that we're talking about at our event in September 
And we're talking about it when we release the concept we're calling business orchestration and automation technologies, E-O-A-T, BOAT. With that, we're going to move on to the third pillar. And this is, again, going back to the future of enterprise applications and what we're driving towards. When we talk about embedded intelligence, what we mean is using whatever tools you use throughout the day. But rather than having to go someplace and look up, say, key information about a customer order or key information about a purchase order or something in your supply chain, actually having that intelligence at your fingertips in the applications that you use. So being context aware, where you're on the process and showing you the data in a way that might say, you're about to make this decision. Here are the implications of that decision. Here is how your cycle times might increase or be reduced based on this order. Here is how this real-time thing you're about to do could impact your overall strategic plan. So the idea is on the pages that you work in, having intelligence built in that's driven by this massive sort of analytics engine underneath that's contextualized with some form of AI. And so this idea being that you almost have a coach that's working with you on a day-to-day -day basis within your application to help you make better decisions without having to go out and do all the digging for that anal analytics yourself. And so embedded intelligence. And the last pillar that really makes up our future of enterprise applications is what we call composable architecture. Now we've been talking about composable for years. This is putting together all of the different pieces and applications, whether it's suites or best of breed to make sure you're bringing all of the right functionality to your business stakeholders. But there's a much bigger, bigger picture going on now. Which platform are you going to choose to future-proof your portfolio? Your big ERP vendor may also have a BI solution, a business intelligence tool. They may also have a AI foundational solution that can be used outside of their suite. So you have your big application vendors that are now expanding into analytics and AI. And when you have two or three major application vendors, what does that start to look like from a future-proofing standpoint? Whose AI tool should you use? Whose analytics tool should you use? Who is going to be your big strategic partner in one area, but then how do you reduce the risk of only sourcing with one vendor by breaking that up? This is the decision that a lot of CIOs and application leaders are really struggling with, right? Is how do we build the best future-proof platform? So let's move beyond just the integration and the composable pieces of the puzzle to this sort of mega platform discussion and how do we make the right decisions? And so when we talk about that fourth component, that composable architecture, that's really what we're getting at. So that's really just a taste of the four major trends that we're talking about within the future of enterprise applications that we're going to be going into a lot of detail at our conference in London. Things like the adaptive experience, the future of applications. If you've got questions about the conference, please follow the link in the description to get more information. Please feel free to chat and we'll respond to your questions. And thank you again for joining us and I hope to see you in London in September.